Steve Strange's band Visage made their first record in 1980, eyeliner manufacturers threw their hats in the air. When Face of Grey went to number one in 11 or 12 countries, when it was released, the workload that I had on was just... I just didn't stop. The success of Fade to Grey made Steve a megastar almost overnight. When we were doing HMV record shop openings, crowds were turning on out en masse and windows were going in. It was like we were being mobbed. It was just like, it was like crazy. It was, it was pure craziness. It was like teen mania in a way. Before Visage, Steve, no shrinking violet, was notorious on the London club scene for his outrageous dress sense and for running the trendy Blitz Club. The name Steve Strange was known for, do, for just running clubs. And I had people like Boy, Boy George work, working the cloakroom and Marilyn as a cigarette girl. Steve was one of the pioneers of the style crime they called the New Romantics. We were flown first class everywhere. There was a limo on hand 24 hours a day. We stayed at the George Sank or the Hilton or the best hotels in all over the world. Um, and I thought that was the norm. I thought that, you know, that went with every territory. I thought that went with every band. I think my first paycheck was something like 250,000. And I really did think this is like pop land. This is, this is, how, yeah, was, this is gonna go on forever. But while Duran Duran went sailing to Rio, Steve found he'd missed the boat. His short-lived success led him to heroin, and the party was over. I got hooked on it in a big way. And what it was doing to me was it was sort of solving my problems, but not really. It was just pushing them further and further away, being right up there and sliding right down. And the heroin was just making everything fine. After years of struggle with addiction, Steve has recently been in the papers again with the shocking revelation that he's been convicted of shoplifting. He's now on state benefit and back in his hometown of Bridgend, Wales. After suffering a nervous breakdown, he plans to start a business managing new bands with a little help from the government. Right, what's your name, please? Steve Strange. I don't see myself forever in this situation. I see myself, like, managing bands because there are a lot of exciting Welsh bands out there. Steve already has his eye on a young band called Chalk Circle. I see ya. He's arranged for an old mate from the music biz to come down and see them play. Like, I'm now looking after bands as well. Sure. And one of the bands, you will see them in a minute. Yeah. They're called Chalk Circle. If you start with a slow track and then sort of really rock it, like, give it everything for the final number. Yeah. Yeah? Bel yeah. Belt it out and good luck. As he struggles to start a new life, Steve can at least look back with pride on his pop achievements things that I have done, you know, are going to go down in, in the history books. And it's quite nice that people sort of respected what I did. Mm -hmm.